Hello, everybody, and welcome to Study Bay Technologies. In our today's session, we will discuss about Hive View. Okay. So before we go ahead, uh, guys who are from uh, database side, they might know about uh, what is View actually. But uh, those who are not from uh, database background, for them, let me tell you something about a View. So this uh, View actually allows query to be saved and treated like a table actually okay so it is basically a kind of a you know logical construct right as uh, it actually does not store data like a table okay so in other words we can say that materialized views are not currently supported by the uh, hive actually so whenever a query references a view the information in it definition is combined with the rest of the query by hive query planner so logically you can imagine that hive executes the view and then uses the result in the rest of the query okay now it's like uh, if we talk about like uh, views to reduce the query complexity Views to reduce query complexity. Whenever a query becomes very large or complicated, a view may be used to hide the complexity by dividing the query into smaller, more manageable pieces. And similar to writing a function in a programming language or the concept of layered software design in a software system now the similar case like views that restrict data based on conditions okay. a common use case for view is restricting the result rows based on the value of one or more columns some databases here allow a view to be used as a security mechanism rather than giving the user access to the raw table with sensitive data the user is given access to a view with where clause that restricts the data actor. so hive is currently does not support this particular feature as the user must have access to the underlying raw table for the view to work However, the concept of a view created to limit data access can be used to protect information from casual queries. Okay, so we will see some examples also over here, like how we can create a view and uh, how we can, you know, operate on that particular view. It is basically that a kind of a read-only setup actually. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how a view can be created. So now we have into this uh, console and uh, where we have a Hadoop setup actually. So let me get into Hive first of all. Okay. And let us check the databases. Show databases. Okay. And I have a data called as uh, big underscore data. Let me use it use big underscore data okay and then make it show tables fine so i have a table called as the unm dup party okay so let me try the command to see the what kind of data it contains select a star from unm dup party okay and uh, this particular table contains like uh, employee ID, your employee first name, designation and salary and uh, department ID. Okay. So let me go ahead and uh, create a view that should contain only uh, these three columns like uh, employee, uh, I mean uh, employee name, that uh, uh, designation and salary. Okay. So let's go ahead. 
create okay the command to do the same is create view okay and uh, let me use this table name on the ulm underscore v1 okay that is a view as select um let's take it as a kind of first name okay then uh, we can make it as designation first name that we can make it a kind of uh, designation and salary salary from UNM DUP party this is my table name okay fine you can see that this view has been created now if I try to look at this particular view select a star from UNM underscore VL so let's see this view actually what are the uh, what the details it should provide you can see here that map video job has been started yes you can see that this view has been created with only employee uh, I mean the uh, first name designation salary you want to make some changes on this particular view or you are looking for some more restricted data using the where clause let me use this uh, you know same kind of setup actually like select a star from the view name where okay salary let's say the salary uh, what I'm looking for is like the salary should be greater than 50,000 okay it's something like this again you'll see that the map reduce uh, setup out there so it's unable to fetch a table from UNM underscore VI over there okay one second let me check uh, all right so it may seems like some uh, fluctuation there so now let me go ahead and uh, get some uh, more uh, you know restrictions on the table on the data or i mean uh, on the view actually whatever data we are getting from a view so let's say uh, from this particular view i'm looking for uh, only those employees details of only those employees whose salary is greater than 50000 Okay, you can restrict it this way and uh, you can proceed accordingly. You can see again this map video job has been started. So go ahead. Right, so you can see here now you are getting only the first name, designation, and uh, salary of only those employees whose uh, salary is in fact greater than 50,000 okay we can also also uh, you know uh, let uh, let me check for the number of tables here we have a uh, unm dup party at a table over there and uh, so now let me create one more view and wherein i will restrict this uh, you know uh, uh, that is the first name designation and salary and even then whose salary is greater than 50000 that's it that i will restrict accordingly okay while creating it while creating the view itself so let me go ahead mm, let me go to the point where i have yes here it is i have created select first name designation salary from unm dup party where salary is greater than let's say 40000 okay and this time let me rename the view actually it is uh, instead of unm v1 we can make it v2 okay so now if we can fire the command show tables you'll be able to see that unm underscore v2 as well as a view and uh, let's say uh, select star from unm v2 so let's go ahead So here you can find that we have a list of only those uh, employees whose salary is greater than 40,000. Clear? Now, 
let me see some details of views actually what you can do is like you can go ahead and uh, first of all let me get the name of that views show tables okay let us describe unm underscore v1 here you can find the details of this particular view it contains only the first name, designation, and salary. Similarly, we can have a detailed view of UNM V2. You can find that these are the columns that are, you know, supposed to be fetched from this UNM V1 and V2. Moreover, if you need to have some extended details or uh, associated table details as well, what you can do is like describe extended UNM V1 or V2, whatever it is like this now here you can see like uh, i mean the name of the view right your table name which is associated with this db name owner name create time last access time and all these details related to your you know uh, details of a particular view actually all right similarly we can check for unm v2 also all right here you can see that it is clearly mentioned that this particular view contains data for for, uh, for those we called actually, whose salary is greater than 40,000. Alright, so this is how, I mean, you can create your view while uh, restricting it before, or even you can restrict it later also after creating the view actually. And remember that you cannot view, uh, use this view as a target of an insert or load command because views are always read only. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the session and uh, I request you to please go ahead, check it out. And if you have any query, please let me know by tapping on this, uh, you know, comment box. And uh, please uh, like the video, share and subscribe the same. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice time ahead and take a very good care of yourself. Bye-bye.